Hello everyone, it's a stunning day here in Central Oregon and uh, welcome to the channel. I want to welcome all the new subscribers and we've got a big day for you. So we took Saturday off from filming to get a lot of projects up to a, a level of operation. <laughs> so the first thing I want to tell you is uh, uh, the Dutch bucket system uh, went, um, we moved that along really well yesterday and we didn't film it uh, because I, I didn't want to do a video of just showing you guys cutting and sawing and measuring as I wanted to show you more results. So the first thing I want to do is take you here to the greenhouse <coughs> and show you and have a cup of coffee um, what we what we did um, to get everything ready to go. So here we go. So the first thing you'll probably notice is we get this place cleaned up. <laughs> uh, Sherry was uh, a lot of help. Um, so what we managed to do is get all um, the three inch pipe in and you saw in the video before that I cleaned it out. We did a water, a water test to make sure that we have enough slope that this goes into the tank. Now if you watched the video before, we also had a problem with the tank being too high. And so, I don't know why you didn't see this in the comments, but the solution was dig a hole. And that's exactly what we did. So that's our tank. <clears throat> so uh, uh, we ended up putting a 38 gallon toad in here. Um, we've got the hose now to feed these uh, buckets and we still got to put the little jumpers on which we made last night we just got to install them and you can see we're starting to add perlite to these buckets and uh, we're in the, uh, the middle of that today we'll accomplish we're having a little bit of trouble getting uh, enough perlite um, but we're getting there <laughs> Uh, eventually we're going to take the hose in here and start running water in these to get the powder um, out of here and we'll be pumping the tank out um, as we clean these a lot of people will do these individually we didn't have that opportunity <laughs> so we got everything leveled got all the water lines in uh, we are held up on a pump which will be in tomorrow and a new pump for the uh, towers and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the towers in a minute so uh, basically we're almost ready for operation and then another thing we're looking into is possibly putting a heater in here so we can uh, avoid freeze because we're right on that cusp and we want to start early here so we're looking into that we got to finish the window we might even do that today but uh uh, once we start working on the towers, uh, we got to work with building our soil, which is not real soil. It's going to be coconut core and perlite. So, uh, yeah, we got a long ways. So, the tank, that was huge. Um, everything drained perfect. And uh, all we have to do is put our jumpers in, which will be our feeders, which will run water into this. And no, we don't have to run this all day. We can run it like a half hour, three times a day. <clears throat> and all the water returns back to the tank. And it's all, and the best, you know, the only thing we have to do is make sure that we uh, don't run out of water and burn out the, the motor. So let's go uh, take a look at the towers and tell you what's going on with that. So busy day today. We got some accomplishments to do. Hopefully by the end of this video, we've come a long way. So let's go take a look at the towers before we get to the towers uh, we are uh, starting to amend this little above ground uh, garden here um, it won't take much to get it we're going to add some uh, we added the dirt that we <laughs> dug out from the tank in the uh, greenhouse <clears throat> added it over here then we're going to add some compost to this thing and then cover it and we may be able to get that accomplished today too I <laughs> got a lot of things to do today. And then uh, moving right along is the towers. 
Today, uh, we're going to create our uh, our soil, which is not really soil, and plant these today with strawberries. And for a day or two, I may have to manually water them since I don't have a pump. That'll re my, I have a pump, but as you watch the old video, it wasn't powerful enough to uh, get water to all five towers. So we're using uh, coconut core per, uh, perlite and uh, um, and we got our strawberries that we ordered from gosh I was guineas or whatever it's called I can't remember the name of the company and uh, hopefully I got enough to uh, get these planted today so we're gonna be mixing uh, I'll, I'm saying soil but it's not really soil but uh, it's gonna be what we're gonna use for these so we got a busy day so Basically what we're doing is almost everything's functional and now it's time to start getting it to the next level and I hope you uh, stick through this whole video with us as we accomplish that. So here we go. We are back in the uh, greenhouse and it's time to now put my dripper lines in. So let me show you what we got here. We uh, pre-made all these. They're about oh, a foot and a half and they'll go from the back of this into the perlite and uh, we have to install these little uh, barbed uh, drip line connectors and uh, actually they're not that easy sometimes so uh, we took these in the house put them in hot water and made them a little softer but we got them all ready so all we have to do now is punch holes into these so the way we do that is uh, this is a tool I use there's all different shapes and sizes this is a cutter and a hole punch. So all we're going to do is punch a hole into this. And uh, I'll show you that. And then uh, stick the drip line in. So let's get started. So this is uh, the little hole I put in there. So the next thing I need to do is put a drip line into it. Let's see if I can get the camera set up right for this. And that's it. All right, so the drip line's in there. And so these will feed into the uh, perlite, which will feed our plants. Um, we're not going to let these just hang over like this. We're going to put a little piece of uh, PVC pipe, about three or four inches, into the perlite. And then put the tubes into the, per into the PVC pipe. So... All right, I've got 23 of these to do, and uh, uh, I don't think I need to show you <laughs> all those, but I'll show you the finished product. I almost forgot, when I was punching these holes, I forgot to tell you that every bucket has a five-gallon uh, paint strainer in it, and what that's for is to keep the perlite from going into the water system. So every bucket has got a five-gallon paint strainer in it. And they are reusable, so next year I can wash them and use them again. And I can also use the perlite again next year too. All right, so I got holes in all these now. I'm going to put the other 22 uh, drip lines in. I'll be all done with that project. And if you notice, Sherry's using a face mask. The powder that comes off of these uh, perlite you want to avoid. So I'm kind of staying away. But she's uh, filling up our buckets with our perlite. And uh, we're a little bit short, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, we'll probably have to go get more. But um, Home Depot only had two bags. And we had a couple here already, but not enough. But uh, she's getting them all leveled off. And eventually we'll run water through all these to get the powder out of them. But in the meantime, we've almost got all the jumpers on. So let me get back to work. So one of the other things we need to do now is uh, we do have a little pump. We're going to test this. But I need to rinse out um, to get some of this powder out of the perlite. So we're just rinsing them off. And my tank's going to get... Full, but we're going to pump that out. Normally you just do these buckets individually. 
but everything's connected right now so one more thing I'm just going to remind you that when you're rinsing your perlite it's a it's a slow process so because uh when she's filling those the first inch has got to fill up with water then it's going to start draining and you want a greenhouse that you can get water on the floor that's why we use the uh, fabric weave but uh as you uh, add water you can see your perlite will drop so we'll have to definitely add more perlite to these other buckets over here and all we're doing is draining you can see the dust getting into the water here i have a pump in here that's going to pump out the water uh out out here just out to the ground but uh yeah so that, that's not the water we're going to use for feeding our plants uh, but in a moment in a little bit when this gets full enough we're going to turn on the motors right now i have it connected to go out but we're going to test the water system and make sure it's working all right guys we turned on the water I'm sure he's checking to see if we're getting water So very cool everything's working right water is running and uh, draining into here this water will be changed out but this is still a good chance to rinse out more of the perlite so I'll just let this run for a little bit and uh, <laughs> it's so cool it's actually working just imagine this place with big green tomatoes and yummies so uh, how cool is this well, since we got the uh, watering system working, very happy. We'll change out the pump tomorrow. Now it's time to take on the strawberries. So we set up a little table out here so we can uh, make our coconut core and perlite mixture. And uh, we'll start filling up these uh, towers. And then uh, once we get the, the mixtures put in, uh, we'll put uh, our strawberries in. And we can still hand water these until I get the pump, which the pump comes in tomorrow. And uh, we'll have these fully functional too. So uh, this is getting to be really cool. Everything's starting to come together. Very excited to get strawberries going. So Sherry's getting a mixing bucket for us to put our uh, coconut core in. And uh, they come in bricks, you add water, mix it around, and uh, uh, add the perlite to it, and we're ready to go. So we got uh, one bag of perlite left. We saved it not to use in the Dutch bucket. And these are the coconut core bricks. Now don't underestimate what you can do with these. This will fill this bucket up about that far. It's amazing. And uh, all you do is add water. And just churn it around and get your hands dirty, which is not really dirty. And uh, we got quite a few bricks. And uh, then we'll try to figure out, we've never done this before, how to fill these uh, uh, <laughs> towers up. Never done it before, so here we go. The other thing here is we're going to disassemble each tower at a time. And then we'll fill them up from here and then assemble the uh, towers again. Super simple. And uh, we'll do one at a time. So basically we're uh, taking uh, these bricks, adding water, and you see it turns into soil, or kind of like soil. And then these are our strawberries that we're soaking in the water. And uh, eventually those will get into that. Now we got to add perlite to this. Then we'll start filling these up. And I'm not sure if we got enough strawberries yet, but I can always get more. But we got to learn how to load these first so anyway got to add more water so i gotta get to work all right guys we're starting to add the perlite um i don't know what ratio we're using we're going to use scientific measurements like that looks good so yeah 
And the perlite doesn't hold water. It actually lets water pass through better. The coconut core is designed to hold water. So uh, this would kind of keep things aerated. And uh, so we probably want to go pretty, pretty heavy with uh, the perlite, but uh, we'll probably add a little bit more and that's about all we'll need for this. This is only three bricks. So uh, yeah. So we're kind of figuring this is going to be a little messy because we got the holes at the bottom. But uh, once we get this on the tower, it won't be a problem. So we're going to fill this up and see what happens. All right, new plan. <laughs> we decided to go ahead and put the tower on. That way we uh, won't spill as much and uh, see what happens. That's not too bad, I guess. It's interesting how that's draining already. So this, uh, the third uh, stacker we're putting on, we kind of determined it takes about one brick per stacker yeah but these are small bricks um but we have pretty small bricks so uh kind of interesting the other thing's kind of interesting is how well these are draining but uh yeah so we probably won't have enough coconut core and stuff to do all these today but this is a good learning curve for us and we'll get the uh strawberries we do have planted and that'll kind of tell us where where we're at well, we got the first tower filled up and uh, we're starting on our second tower. Kind of a slow process, but should be, a, should be worth it at the end. So I'm guessing we'll be able to fill three towers today. Yeah. Not sure how much coconut core we got. Yeah, so we'll do our best. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time. We did get two towers completely planted the third tower we didn't have enough materials and we didn't have enough strawberries so we're going to try to solve that problem today guess where we got to go home depot probably wilco and a feed store but we were uh, we're just uh, running out of everything didn't estimate everything that well uh need more perlite i need more coconut core and i need more strawberries so hopefully cross my fingers i can get all that stuff and uh, live and learn. I haven't done these before. They, it's amazing you get a lot of plants in these things. Well, of course, we went to uh, Home Depot again. So I managed to get three more bags of perlite. And I bought 15 blocks of uh, this coconut core, which is the best price I could ever find. Is uh, They're uh, less than $3 a piece at Home Depot. And then uh, while I was there, I thought it'd be kind of interesting since basically I'm growing a hundred strawberries that I can make room for some white strawberries. Never had these before. So uh, they're supposed to taste like pineapple. <laughs> it's like, well, let's plant a couple. <laughs> Why not? So uh, I'm going to put those in here. Uh, I've got room uh, in that uh, one tower. And uh, I have to look at seeing if I can get some more bulk strawberries uh, at, a re at a reasonable time. That's my biggest worry. Uh, if not, I'll have to go with some something else. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, it's been a long video. And I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you got a kick out of some of the things. Sherry, uh, after uh, we're going to make some chili tonight, we're going to fill up the rest of the perlite buckets. And uh, that's really ready to go. And uh, uh, yeah, very exciting. So neat to see all the systems coming together. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, the towers or if you have any questions about the uh, uh, Dutch buckets, let us know. Uh, we're still learning, but uh, it's kind of neat to see the idea and then actually turn it into reality. So that's what our channel is all about is don't be afraid to try something. We might make some mistakes. Who cares? <laughs>
You only live once, but you can say you did it, right? So, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Uh, be safe. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Really helps us out. So, anyway, guys, bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.